Hello everybody and welcome back to Fangame Marathon. I, I kind of sped up that uh, sped up that setup, if you will. Uh, but here we have Pigeon with us doing a, a pretty special Toho game. Why don't you go ahead and introduce it? Yeah, so welcome. So this is a for Toho Reimu no Ken according to DL set, or Reimu no Ken according to uh, the game itself, or Reimu no Ken no fly no bullets according to myself. But I think first, mm -hmm. uh, before this, we, we kind of need some context, so we'll just be restarting the game, just so we get the true nature of, the, of this game and why this, this, this is the first Toho game that gets accepted uh, towards the Sudoku block, because in my own language, a good Sudoku, a Sudoku game is also a good Kuso game. Uh, this... We don't have bullets, so we can't fly. Last year we did have some bullets and some guns as well. Kudos to Horror Ship, now the name Fredbot. Where, uh, we actually needed to fist fight everyone on our way. And, uh, on my end, with the commentary, we also have on our side uh, Ig, who is uh, the sage of Gensokyo and expert <laughs> knowledge master of Neo Geo games as well. Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but I, I've played a couple of video games in my life. Yeah, so <laughs> while we're dealing with uh, the, the menu of uh, characters, I would like to just read the uh, advertisement on DL site about this, because this is an important. This is a fighting style, quote unquote, minigame created with 2D fighting to second. It uses only two buttons and is easily recognizable to those who have played fighting games. The recommended age is 30. And people who liked Neo Geo are recommended to play. I have just gotten 30 years old, so I am eligible to play the game legally. As well as you, everyone, you are able to, to watch the game. And also on our back, we also have a few cheerleaders, uh, just some bird cheerleaders as well, who are there to accompany us for them. And while we are ending the train of the big decks uh, of uh, the song, we will now be able to. Begin the video game on story mode, which is the easier difficulty of those. So, we are starting in 3, 2, 1, and go! So, Master Rig will be the knowledge master about the game and Peter Fighters, which is the heavy inspiration mm -hmm. from this game. Yeah, uh, even at a cursory glance, anyone who is uh, it's somewhat familiar with King of Fighters will see a whole lot of references in this game. This game is a whole lot of soul to it. Um, the first fight we have here against Sakia, Sakia being of course the ever walking Dio reference, and JoJo reference has a lot of Dio. Oh, nice. So to avoid this, you don't need to attack. We we'll try to get as many. Uh, cutins as possible, especially this. That's the goal of, of a, a showcase. Mm -hmm. Right, have fun uh, for the, the vote be people with this. You will have some other ideas for good finals. No need to thank me. <laughs> now, story mode is really easy. Uh, I did get destroyed a bit on arcade mode earlier, but it's for the best, you know, you can kind of need to, to finish off the game. Alright, see. You don't have to do anything. Easy dodge. And of course, as per Toho nature, we do have to uh, absolutely eradicate everything besides the blah. Because, you know, we are uh, channels full of young people as well that are under 30. Which is again the legal age to play this game. <laughs> Alright, so Patchouli. A lot of Patchouli has uh, Geese Howard in her references here. Their stance and a lot of her regular moves. Yes. Sadly, we did not get to start off with uh, the, uh, the Power Rangers move. But we did get Wolf Flare too before. Oh, we did see the Kaku Rangers now. Nice. Hmm? Here they are. Also, she has a level 1 that just is a, a big chainsaw out there. Alright. Can we get the special in? Yes. She's too far away from the range. Now, if I get hit by the level 1. Okay, we, we saw the bike uh, chainsaw. 
I need to get to level 1 in or something. Hmm. Also, she has glasses. Sometimes. If she wins, she will, she will show up that she does wear glasses too. Yeah. I did not want it necessarily to finish with music, but yeah. You have to be careful because you can be, get countered by this. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention, but yeah, Reimu, her, her level 3 at the very least is definitely a Seth reference, and the fact that she uses a variety of moves from other fighters like Shoryuken. Also, each character says unique uh, diving weapon. So, she, Yerumi does use a scooter, but I think the best is uh, Kaguya having a chariot with uh, resin uh, pulling off her. Mm. Well, in Marisa and Moko do have like social so training, so we are just training at least once the, uh, the usage of this. If you go to the other side, the arrows won't move around, so... Alright. Yeah, now the we... instructions assume you were facing right? Yeah. Now we are just uh, using a bunch of them because uh, it's a pretty daunting to try to use the, uh, the, other, the level 3 and does not do much damage and we just get pulled back as well. Yeah, it tells you to use your level 3, but you can just do whatever, beat it up. Yeah. That's case. That's the only time we hear this. So about Don Tengu, there are a few characters if you finish off the arcade mode that reveals a second level 3 usage. So Aika is one of them, the next characters as well. And there's a third one later on that also have double level fees. The combinations get revealed at the end, but you only get to see the first combination within the, the game menu. Also, depending on your choice of buttons when you begin the story mode, uh, you will get a different set of the old color or not that gets used. Those old colors that are not present in the uh, uh, like it, it's either you that gets to use the, the all colors or uh, the, the opponent. And if you also get to all. Oh. Okay. For some background we can see Hatate but she's just uh, biking around. I also, also, also does have a, a, a pretty handstand move. Alright, you can need to, to get up the way now. Hmm. Well, that, that's very little damage. What was that? <laughs> At least you get gauge every time you attack or, or anything, really, so there's no need to, to be scared to use any gauge at all. Alright. I I'm pumping it out pretty hard. I swear I've done a good time, but I actually, actually cannot get close to. <laughs> Alright, fuck off. Very muscular, Aya, by the way. <laughs> who's, who's Aya from, by the way? I uh, don't think we got to get this. I don't have fighting game knowledge, if you were not aware. I guess I guess Vig is lost in his notes. Sorry, sorry, what? Uh, who's the Aya from? Oh, Aya, Aya, sorry. Aya was a mix of Johigashi and Ryo Sakazaki. Had a bit of combination of their moves. While well, Yomu here, her stance and the uh, the ghost attack I believe she does is a bit of a parody of Bishoman from Darkstalkers. I think she probably has a bit of someone from Samurai Showdown in her too, but I don't know offhand. Right. Because she also has a, a big sword, she does have a very, very big range as well. She also has... the, the, the spirit is also not there for... Uh, just for show. She, she does have a, a move that uses that spirit as well. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> was a quick one. Jeez. Yeah. Way to job, Yomu. Alright. Now we're arriving in the danger zone, in which I will let her ap apology to us, so... I'm sorry. <laughs> Just so tweaked because I had to show him some unspeakable horrors that he has to react very crazily in case uh, this happens because I, I actually cannot show this on stream. <laughs> this would be a bit too spicy. 
because after all, this game is also only reserved for 30 plus year old people. And yes, Byron Skarda, really scary. So, this this stage is you have to fight three, six weak enemies in a row. When they get down to like 10%, the next enemy will get summoned. So, you can actually chain them pretty, pretty well as well. But also, I do not want to use LM3 on those. I think, I think from the, the looks of them, you may understand. Better start burning that meter in your level 1s. Please. Okay. There you go. I will be using just a, another one. J just to make sure I don't get uh, suppressed. <laughs> Urge to yell, Shame Maru rising. Okay. Please. Okay. Also, the, the, psych, the scene psych guy are uh, something that is. I think that's a video from the community. At least the Japanese community. I forget the, uh, the scene psych uh, people. Because I only got over them pretty recently uh, from another game that's called Mayashi Monogatari. Uh, also, yeah, the, you know that the two last are. Uh, much stronger because they just have uh, swap colors uh, lose. Getting into the RPG journal for a bit. Enter. And so yes, you can sh throw these people on screen and <laughs> it is a very really close-up of all those. Alright, so... So Kaguya... Kaguya is a big old Yori reference. King of Fighters. Okay, we got lucky, we got out of this. Also, Tei is also on the background, just uh, doing that. some big old rules. The Gerisa is uh, one of the, the fighters that also have a fire style move in this game. Okay, I think we're good? Okay, didn't get the range. She could have cancelled her move. Moon. So in the library stage with Patchouli, we also saw Lumia hanging out on the side that was meeting sleeping in the Sakuya stage. Uh, I don't think we got to the left side of the stage of Yomo, but we also have Yuguko sleeping on the left side of the stage. And I think the, why we are very like Yuguko is just because uh, food was stolen, so we are just uh, famished. Now, final bonus game. After this. So we can skip the cutscene, but you know, I appreciate the downtimes from my hands. Mm. So Moko, being Kaguya's rifle, rival, sorry, rival, uh, fills in as a Kyo Kusanagi parody. Kusanagi, uh, Kusanagi parody. <laughs> also, we we swear she doesn't have one. She actually has a ribbon on on her head, even by the looks of it. Incidentally, um, we don't get to see it here, but most of the in between fight cutscenes in this game are references to art of fighting. But Moko's in particular, if you're playing as her, is a initial D reference. Oh yeah, she 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 has a. A eighty six car. Yeah. I, I forgot the, the English name for this. I just know the, the French name. Alright, cool. Thank you. Thank you for cooperating, but we're also not in the good shape as well. If we get cornered by a coach, can just destroy our HP. Alright, get get guard. Thank you. I thought you made the, the, the actual car name from initially. I think mean, you had it right, yeah. In a long time. I know it's 86 at the end for the number. Hmm. Kyosha Wari. Alright. Alright, we get free damage. <laughs> Alright. As you can see, we are dealing with very pesky Fairfairies of Ice now. 
But don't worry, it's like pretty quickly, so no new shuttle. We can lose in bonus stages by the way, so it's not an issue if like we get damaged pretty much. No, this is the final one. Nice. And so enters the mighty Cherno. Who is, as a friend of mine put it, a parody of Dan and I refuse to elaborate. Yeah. Kudos to Holo Shit aka Flightboat for the notes. And so again for Splinter Cell Coder last, last year. Because they forget to do that shout out. Can you use your uh, special? We need that. We need uh, that, that face at least once. Ah, nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, she should dodge. Alright, don't go far. Ooh. Well, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, you know. We, we just win. It's not the As issue. expected, of the strongest. Yeah, the strongest, I don't know. So, Kiani is kind of an odd one. Because she seemed a lot of it for, uh, a lot of her moves and overall seems familiar to me, but I can't really exactly place what she might be a parody of, and no one else I know can either. Um, apparently, her both of her specials are apparently a parody of Kinikuman, uh, yeah, Kinikuman's Buffalo Man, like with her cuttings and. The one projectile attack she does where she shoots out a sword is a bit reminiscent, I'm told, of Genkai's spirit gun from the old Yu Yu Hakusho game. It also reminds me a little bit of uh, the dude from the Dojin fighter Akatsuki Blitzkampf, the way she fires it. Oh, maybe even so she has a face that looks like a, a Huchi, like Sasuke or Uchiha in Terminato, because it's like Akatsuki mm -hmm. reference, maybe. I don't know. It's on 2011 this game, by the way, and only people, 22 people have bought it. If we had uh, Pai, on, Pai on commentary, so this is a scary situation, I need to focus a little. Yeah. If I get hit by the, by the, by the, by the free death, death incarnate. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, almost dodge. Uh, I forgot. I was, too, I was too focused to not lose because this fight is like the most scary one so, of them all. It's not the final fight either. Alright. Now we will see if we if we will be okay or not to win. Ashinasai. Too fast. And so we have Marisa, probably one of my favorites, no bias at all. And Marisa is a very unashamedly unashamedly Terry clone. Or uh, parody. Oh uh, we we Are you okay? Oh no we uh, okay, I'm sad. I actually I'm getting sad we touch this. Because uh, yeah, the special is pretty cool to watch. <laughs> Maybe you get the uh, lucky again. Goodbye. Yeah, if, I think if you get it, I'm gonna die. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but man, that would be a good opportunity to show up. <laughs> so we have a key on the, the side window behind. Ooh, I think it's over. Alright. You know what? For the fan, fair if I lose. Yeah. Alright. That's okay. I can allow to, to, to die <laughs> twice. Oh! Alright, yeah, we can double kill and win. Time! <laughs> nice. Alright. Good occasion. I, I did that once in practice, so yeah, we won. <laughs> Alright, now we can enjoy the cutscene, you know. She, she might have won, but we also won as well. GG. I mean, 
what, what a good way to go to end this run. <laughs> <laughs> and you get some just some very good cutscenes, so... The, the and so closes the curtain on this incident. Yeah. The, the ending has some very good uh, pictures as well. I think if, if we... Well, unless the, the mana friend wants to go, go down sometimes, but there, there's some very good uh, pictures in there. Like, very, very well made. Like, it's it's, yeah, it's like uh, 10, 10 bucks on the other side, but you know what? It's very really worth it. It's pretty short, but... When, when you go to arcade mode, you, you have to deal with some pretty dangerous pesky enemies. Like, you saw Kane ever and you move? Yeah, you don't want to deal with those on arcade mode. Especially if you want to play this, you know, so... They make you, they make you aware that uh, Chino is also... Oh, sorry, Sound and is uh, unlockable in uh, on the main menu, so we can we can end up on that uh, if possible. It's like a minute or 30 seconds, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I found that game and me. It took quite some time to actually find a, a good Kusu game for the Suzuku block in the Toho genre, but I'm glad we found made it, you know. For the first time today to, to get that in. It's pretty good. It's only never knowing to to buy us, but you know what? Very nice. And uh, yeah, also thanks to to, to to bring out the, the knowledge of Gensoku and the King of Fighters game. Oh, glad I could be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. When you have some knowledge, it's just pretty good. But yeah. We just sent on, on the good music. So thank you thank for you playing. For Big playing. game over. <laughs> That's pretty usual. Alright, so. In when the first time you finish off this, you, they do show that Sadano is also unlockable there for the pleasure of mm. everyone. And of course, since she's tiny, she's also the hardest character to clear. Thank you, everyone. Let's go on yes. with the Sudoku. Also, thanks for the cheerleaders behind. Thank you. True, true. All right, thank you, Pigeon. That was uh, I was pretty excited for this one, and it was a worthwhile showing. Glad we could have it. Uh, up next, we have Jopagu with I Wanna Break the Eight Belzebubs, a true Sudoku I Wanna Be the Guy classic. Uh, stay tuned and we'll be right back.